Well, that was a nice way to end the homestand with that win. They go five and four in the homestand. Uh, good to see the guys get some hits. You know, yesterday only two. Today, thir- what, 13 hits? Good to, good to see Rupp had those three hits. That was big in the home run. And good to see Borges get a couple. And Herrera on base all the time. Uh, Freddie had that, a couple hits. Uh, swung the bats pretty good today. Um, of course, Eikhoff was uh, very good. That's the, that's the guy we're used to seeing. So it was nice to see. Uh, did a great job. Naris got some work. And uh, same with, with Gomez. What did Eikhoff do differently in your view? He was locating his fastball for me. He was really efficient early in the game, got getting a lot of early outs, and he threw a lot of pitches the last two innings. But uh, I like I liked the command of his fastball. It seemed like you guys really stuck to the same game plan that you had with Eikhoff in Atlanta, even though you know, he only lasted, what, four and third then? Or did, he was really only throwing the fastball curve for most of the game. Well, he was locating his fastball extremely well. That's, that's what I saw from the side. And... Uh, that, uh, you know, if you can do that, it sets every other pitch up and makes them more effective. Tommy, Tommy didn't get any hits for you today, but he, he made some defensive plays. And do you, going forward, do you stick with maybe him and see where you can go with that for a while? Well, he's going to play uh, in Detroit all three games. And uh, how he's going to play, well, DH or play the one at first base, I'm not quite sure yet. So he'll get a string of at-bats put together. And uh, although he didn't get any hits, he, I like his swing. I like his approach. And he looked good defensively. Considering the road trip coming up, I mean, how much, how big of a boost is this for you guys going out against two tough teams on the road? Well, it is a good boost for us, especially we, we needed to win that game today, the way I look at it, because uh, we're going to be facing some tough teams. Uh, t- teams we don't, we have, well, Detroit we haven't seen, uh, nor, nor the Cubs, and we know they're both pretty good uh, offensive minded teams. And uh, it, it's great to, to end the homestand on it with a win, uh, with some. Confidence going into the road trip. How much have you guys fed off of Herrera at the top of the lineup? When he's going, it seems like you guys are almost a different. Well, we expect you know we expect him to hit. You know, it just that's what it's it's coming to. You know, we just uh, he can look bad, but he can also look good. He looks he looks good when he looks bad. I mean, if you know what I mean, Uh, the guy has a knack for getting hits, getting on base, and uh, he's got plenty of energy to start you know start off a game during the whole game. Yeah. It's, it's great to feed off of him. At one point last year, you were talking about when you, watched, when you watch him, you just know he's a hitter uh, and you know he's going to have success. What was it about him and his swing and, and when you see him from a scouting perspective? From a- well, he, he's got the ability to hit a lot of pitches over the plate. You know, a lot of players uh, can handle one area uh, of the plate. That's, that's their strength. Uh, um, Oduble is able to hit a bigger portion of that plate, and I think that's what makes him good. He can put the barrel of the bat on the ball, inside, outside, up, down. He he has a knack to do that, which you can't teach. It's just something and high hand eye coordination. Uh, it, it's so good. He looks. He takes some bad swings and you know sneaks a hit into left field. He he can turn on a ball. Uh, it's being able to cover more pitches to hit. You didn't mention Franco today, and we talk about the offense a lot. In order for your offense to get going, is maybe he the most important person in that? Um, to yeah, get, Bob. To get things going. I tell you, Bob, he's uh, we're, we're relying on him heavily. I mean, we we you know I think he's going to get back on track. He didn't even look his best today, but he got a couple of hits and. You know, when you get a, a few flare hits like that and drive in a run or two, it, it, it tends to give you confidence and you can relax a little bit. So uh, he looked, even though uh, he didn't drive the ball, he, st- he looked a little bit more at ease today to me for some reason. He looked like he was trying to g- uh, get under control. Do you think weather impacts him too? I mean, he's, a, he's obviously a Latin player who's, I, I know he loves warm weather, but it, that well, can impact him. weather can impact anybody if you let it. You know, there, it's mental toughness you have to have in order to overcome that. And if that's the case, then he's got to learn to overcome that because April and May count just as much as August and September. You guys were really aggressive on the base paths. Goodell uh, stretching that triple and Cesar, I think it was, getting that second run on Franco's hit. Is that is that how you have to be with this team, or is that just your manager? No, no. Well, we we uh, stressed it in spring training. Base running, being aggressive, uh, minimizing mistakes on the bases, and uh, the guys have been doing that, and it's it's good to see. We need to do that. We don't have the power 
that a lot of teams have. We have to do little things right, and, and uh, those type of things help you win ball games. Back on Herrero, one final question. Is he adapting more to being a leadoff hitter? I mean, a lot's been made of the walks and everything, but the, the style of his at-bats and, and working counts and everything. Yeah, as a matter of fact, he is doing that. He, he has mentioned that he really likes leading off um, for a number of reasons, all of those that you just mentioned. And uh, it's good to see him. It, it's great to have a guy like that start a game for you. Like you said, with his, with, with his energy and his ability to draw a walk, get hit by a pitch, get a base hit, hit a double. You know, he's got home run power, too. Do you, ever, do you ever shake your head at how many different lineups you've made out this season already? Well, yeah. You know, it's uh, it's been interesting. But, you know, I look at matchups and I, I, I try to – who knows why I do it. I just look at it on a daily basis and, and figure this might work, that might work. It would be nice to have a set lineup, but it doesn't always happen.